I was trying to describe you to someone a few days ago. You don't look like any girl I've ever seen before. I mean, I couldn't say, well, she looks just like Jane Fonda, except she's got red hair and her mouth is different. And well, she's not a movie star. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't say that because you don't look like Jane Fonda at all. <laughs> Uh, so I, I, I finally ended up describing you as a movie I saw when I was a child in Tacoma, Washington. I, it was about 1941 or 42. I was seven or eight or six. It, it, it was a movie about rural electrification. You know, a perfect 1930s New Deal morality kind of film to show kids. It, it was a movie about farmers living in the countryside without electricity. They had to use lanterns to see by at night for sewing and, and reading, and they didn't have any appliances like toasters or, or washing machines, and they, and they couldn't listen on the radio. So, so they built a dam with big electric generators, and, and they put poles up all across the countryside, and, and then they hung wires over fields and pastures. You know, and there was this incredible heroic dimension of the simple act of putting up poles to hang wire across. It, it looked both ancient and modern all at the same time. And then they showed electricity like a young Greek god coming to the farmer to forever take away the dark ways of his life. And, and then suddenly, religiously, with the throwing of a switch, farmer had electric lights to see by when he milked his cows in the early winter mornings. The farmer's family got to listen to the radio and have a toaster and plenty of electric lights to use for sewing dresses and read the newspaper by. It was a really fantastic film and it excited me all over like listening to the Star Spangled Banner or hearing President Roosevelt on the radio, President of the United States. I, I wanted electricity to go everywhere in the world. I wanted every farmer in the world to be able to hear President Roosevelt on the radio. And that's how you look to me.